Hey y'all, this is Hans. This is my first hunt and impressions video with the brand new Pulsar Thermion XQ50. Got some video coming up right away. If you're looking to buy this scope, uh, you can find a link to it in the description of this video or go to OutdoorLegacyGear.com. All right, y'all. So that was my first hunt uh, with the brand new Pulsar Thermion XQ50. I've got it right here. I've got it mounted on a, a bolt gun, which I don't use too often. This is a Ruger Predator 243. I've got this set up really on my coyote hunting rig bolt action rifle because uh, to me, um, with the 3.5 power base magnification, this is perfect for all you coyote hunters out there that really like the Pulsar Trail XQ50s at 2.7 base magnification. I really think this is going to be one that you're going to be interested in upgrading to. But uh, to go over some quick impressions, some quick specs on it, 3.5 power base magnification goes up to 14 power. Uh, this is a 384 resolution scope at 17 microns. So uh, as you know, the uh, the XM38, the Pulsar XM38 Thermion and the Thermion XM50 are the 320 12 micron. Uh, well, for this, uh, for the new models, uh, the XQ50 here and also the XQ38, which is coming out uh, sometime in the next few months or so, they are switching back to the 384 resolution. So uh, if you're looking, there's a lot of people out there that want, want to know uh, why or if they should upgrade from the XQ38 up to the XQ50. This is not the full review video. Um, there's going to be a very detailed video coming out in the couple next couple weeks to come, and I'll lay all of that out. If you need to upgrade, what's the differences, uh, the important features that you need to pay attention to. This is just uh, my first hunt, first impression. So, uh, again, I've got it mounted on this Ruger 243 bolt-action rifle, as you can hear, hear on the video of me uh, ejecting the shell and chambering the shell. And the, I'm going to tell you what, there's nothing that sounds better on film and on audio than a bolt gun uh, chambering around. It just sounds awesome to me. But uh, so what I first noticed right away is um, seems like this picture on it's very crisp, which is a good thing. Shows a lot of detail. It's got a new sensor in it. Uh, you know, the, the detail image boost firmware update a lot of that a lot of you've done on your thermions right now have have changed the image uh, you probably notice it being a little bit more of a crisp picture uh, right now i use uh pulsar thermion xp50 a 640 resolution scope so the thermion layout the button layout to me is something i'm familiar with and comfortable with uh, it does have all the you know what i say bells and whistles but uh internal video recording uh, stream vision app picture-in-picture uh, -picture display, multiple color palettes. It does all have all of that. But the key thing that to focus on and what we're going to be talking about on the Late Night Vision Show podcast coming up here uh, next week, we'll be doing the full review on that podcast, which you can find on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, 
Spotify, anywhere that you can find a podcast, you can find it. But Jason and I will be doing our full review on the uh, Thermion XQ50. But is the magnification levels is what you want to pay attention to. 3.5 now, uh, which is up from the uh, the Trail XQ50, which was at 2.7. You know, uh, I prefer lower magnification scopes, but for a coyote hunting scope, this doesn't bother me. It actually uh, is works out really well. But even if you're hog hunting, um, the 3.5 power I thought was going to be a little bit much for what I liked. In the video that you saw, those hogs were about 75 yards away, and I still had a good field of view open that I could see. So, uh, you know, I'm not concerned about that, the 3.5 power uh, magnification. If you're hog hunting in, in the southern part of the United States or if you're coyote hunting uh, anywhere, you know, north or west, I think this is going to be perfect for you. But we're going to be doing a full review on it again. This is just the first video. My first impressions are I really, uh, really like this scope like I thought I might. Uh, it does have a very crisp picture to it, very clear. And uh, I'm I'm glad to see uh, that Pulsar is uh, has gone back to the 384 resolution uh, sensor in it, thermal core. And uh, the 17 micron, I think it's a perfect combination. And uh, we'll be going over a full review here very, very soon. So we'll get some more insight on that. But thank you for tuning in to this short video. First hunt, first impressions with the brand new Pulsar Thermion XQ50. Again, check out the Late Night Vision Show podcast. If you want to uh, purchase this scope, it's in very limited availability right now. Um, you know, just the best thing to do, uh, give Jason a call at 877-350-1818, uh, get on the outdoorlegacygear.com website. You can, uh, you can basically back order it, get on the list. The best thing is to get on the list. So it saves your spot in line. But again, outdoorlegacygear.com. Y'all take care, stay safe in the fields, keep making them bacon pancakes. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so by just clicking on the Hansi's Texas logo right below me. Also, the Late Night Vision Show podcast. To subscribe to that YouTube channel, just hit this logo right here to the left. And to watch related videos, you can hit right down there in the corner. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, and keep making them bacon pancakes.